so uh, in this lecture we are going to discuss about the uh, non degenerate and degenerate energy levels why we are interested in uh, this concept is because we are going to develop the time independent perturbation theory and we will develop time independent perturbation theory for two different cases right we will develop time independent perturbation theory for non degenerate case right for non degenerate energy levels and degenerate energy levels so the question is uh, what are degenerate energy levels and what are non degenerate energy levels so this is the question that we will address in this particular lecture right so by definition the in in quantum mechanics the energy level the energy level so it's uh, just the definition that you have to remember so the energy level are said to be degenerate or is degenerate if it corresponds to two or more eigen states right and in position representation eigen states are say, functions so if any energy level any particular energy level corresponds to more than one eigen functions right so that particular energy level is said to be degenerate and those uh, those many different eigen functions right which corresponds to or which will give the same energy are set, are, are called de degenerate uh, states of the uh, of the system of the quantum system or degenerate wave functions right so this is just by definition let me give you example and before giving you example let me just uh, say uh, one word about the degeneracy so the number of wave functions Uh, the different wave functions which will give the same energy in quantum level or same energy in quantum system are uh, said to be the degeneracy of the uh, energy level or the degree of degeneracy of the ener energy level so it may be 1 2 3 4 and any integral number so let me give you example and let me just show you by using example what degeneracy mean so for example uh, in the case of hydrogen atom right so we know that the hydrogen atom the states of hydrogen atom are represented by uh, this particular state vector right where we have these three quantum numbers the n is principal quantum number so it is principal quantum number right which which can only have values uh, in integral uh, as integers like 1 2 3 and so on up to up to infinity we don't know right so this is the principal quantum number which will uh, give us the particular energies in the hydrogen atom because in hydrogen atom the energy in the nth level is minus 13.6 electron volt over n square so for different levels there are different energies that right? we will discuss that in detail and l here is azimuthal quantum number or orbital angular momentum quantum number so orbital angular momentum quantum number and this l can only have values from 0 1 2 3 and up to n minus 1 right so it is restricted by the value of n uh, and uh, this will give us the uh, value of z component of angular momentum so we will see that in detail in some other lecture but now one more uh, quantum number is just this m which is magnetic quantum number so it is magnetic quantum number right 
and this has values like 0 plus minus 1 plus minus 2 up to plus minus L right so in a sense it has value from minus L to plus L in the integral uh, in the integral order so this is uh, the, these are the principles these are the quantum numbers for hydrogen atom and this is the state right which will represent an electron in the in, in the different levels of hydrogen atom so uh, let me explain you what degeneracy mean by using this example so let us suppose that we are uh, dealing with the ground state of hydrogen atom so ground state and ground state for ground state n is 1 right so for n is 1 e n uh, which is even the uh, energy of ground state which will be minus 13.6 electron volt over 1 square which is just minus 13.6 electron volt right so this is the energy in the ground state uh, of hydrogen atom now let us see uh, the way the eigenstate corresponding to this uh, n is equal to when uh, sorry 1 so we know that for n is 1 l can uh, have only values from 0 to up to n minus 1 and 1 minus 1 is 0 so l can have only one value which is 0 and for l is 0 m can have value from minus l to plus l and because l is 0 so it, it has value in between minus 0 to plus 0 which is just 0 so just for n is 1 l will be 0 and for l, uh, l 0 m will be 1 and there will be just only one possibility that the wave function will be 1 0 0 right uh, here 1 is the value of n this 0 is the value of this l and this 0 is the value of this m so this is the wave function right which call uh, which which represent the ground state right ground state of hydrogen atom right and for this particular wave function we have energy uh, of the atom which will be minus 13.6 electron volt right so it is not degenerate energy level for this particular energy there will be just only one wave function or the state vector which is just this psi 100 0, 0, and for this the energy will be minus 13.6 right now what will happen when we will move to the first excited state of hydrogen atom so for first excited state of hydrogen atom the value of n will be so it is first excited state or excited state of hydrogen atom and for first excited state of hydrogen atom the value of n will be 2 uh, and therefore the value of l will be 0 1 because uh, n minus 1 is 2 minus 1 which is 1 so it will be 0 and 1 right so for l is 0 right for l 0 m will be just 0 but for l is 1 m will either be minus 1 or uh, 0 or plus 1 right so there are these three possibilities for m now uh, if you just have to write the wave uh, functions or the state vector for this n is equal to 2 so it will be uh, psi 2 and but for psi 2 we have l0 right and if l is 0 right if l is 0 m will be 0 so this is the one possibility for n is 0 sorry n is 2 now the second possibility can be when n is 2 l can be 1 right so l can be 1 but if l uh, is 1 then there are these three possibilities it m can be uh, minus 1 or m can be 0 or, or uh, m can be minus 1 so for n is equal to 2 there are these 
uh, four possible wave functions or state vectors but for n is equal to 2 and right, for n is equal to 2 the energy of the first excited state is is this this uh, what this much electron volt and this is just a single number right so when you will uh, study the first excited state hydrogen atom for just one this particular energy level you will have these four uh, eigen states or wave functions right so this is called the that's why we say that the first excited state of hydrogen atom is fourfold so first excited state of hydrogen atom is fourfold why because there are four possible uh, eigen states corresponding to just one uh, particular energy level right so for n is equal to 2 there are these four possibility for the energy uh, energy eigen states that's why it is called four fold energy level and this is uh, the reason why we call this first excited state of hydrogen atom is four degenerate so it's the degeneracy is four and this is the meaning of degeneracy right so if a particular energy level has just uh, one particular unique eigen state then it is non degenerate energy level because it, it has just one uh, wave function corresponding to that particular level but if uh, to uh, to some energy uh, level there is there are more possibility than uh, the unique energy eigen state then that energy level is called degenerate energy level in that case there will be some degeneracy in this case for the first excited state of hydrogen atom there is this fourfold or degeneracy and uh, when we will develop time independent perturbation theory we have to develop time independent perturbation theory for this case when the energy levels are de uh, non degenerate we have to develop it separately and for degenerate energy levels there will be different uh, perturbation theory because these two theories do not work for each other and i will show you uh, what what is the drawback or what what is the main reason why we cannot use uh, the time independent perturbation theory developed for non degenerate case for the case of degenerate energy levels so in this lecture it is just to show you what is the meaning of degeneracy and what are the non degenerate and degenerate energy levels and why uh, we are interested in this and in the time independent perturbation uh, theory when we will de develop that you just have to remember all this when we will uh, discuss that theory